Hi there, and welcome back to the Friendly Filmmaking YouTube channel. My name is Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. Now, I know this thing's been out for quite a while, but you know what? This is still a staple among the filmmaking community. Uh, they still sell for around $100, and... Um, I don't see that changing anytime soon. I, I, I think these things are wildly popular and they're still available new right now, even though the company has still just come out with the Zoom H6 and they'll probably come out with a new one pretty soon. So um, you can find out more information about this product right in the links in the description. Uh, that'll take you right to where you can check this out. But I want to just show you what comes in the box. This is the version 2.0 and it works as a USB microphone. Um, and this particular one comes with the bundled software WaveLab LE7. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that, but it's made by Steinberg it's for Windows 7 and for uh, OS X. It says 10.6, so that might be slightly out of date since we're up to what 10.9 now so it uh, comes with a 2 gigabyte micro SD memory card so I'm not sure if an adapter comes with it we'll check that out uh, this is the black version there is uh, one called a silver version which I think is more white than silver but I haven't had it in my hand so but this is the black version and yeah, throw that right over there so yes, it does come with a standard SD card adapter with the micro SD card. And as tr is tradition on this channel, I'd like to save the important part for last. So we'll get right to the manual. And uh, so there's our SD card. And we have the warranty registration information, which is kind of big honking thing here. And it's got a stamp, or it's got a thing where you would basically put the postage on it and send that in. That's cool. And a useful piece of plastic. I'm sure you can find a use for that. Put your SD cards in it. You've got some promotional material here for uh, gear from Samson and Zoom. So you can check that out. Little pamphlet there. Um, we have the handy recorder. This looks like oh, system versions, system software version history. So that's in, looks like uh, Japanese and English. And here we have uh, oh, installing WaveLab LE7. Little guide for that. And the handy dandy quick start guide for the Zoom H1, which is a two sided illustrated thingamajigger. And you can kind of get an idea what that's going to look like. And that'll tell you most of probably what you need to operate this thing there. Pretty simple. And I'm sure you can find lots more information online as well. And here's an SD card usage precaution sheet here. It tells you about using a, an SD card safely and not corrupting it. And here we have our recorder in the cardboard container. Comes with a single Maxell alkaline battery here and have it nice and heartily wrapped. Let's see, there we go. Get that tape off there. There we go. And I really like the design on this. This thing is so lightweight. If you have this attached to your camera, which it does have like a quarter 20 screw on the back side of it, I'm sure you're you're hardly going to really notice a big difference. And if you have it on like a stabilizer setup, it's not going to throw your balance off that much. Um, but check this out. It's got these uh, two 
different angled microphones in there and it's for recording front and back as well. So you have uh, on this, you have a low cut on and off, you have an auto level on and off, you had a record format in WAVE or MP3, and um, you have this nice compartment cover here for your battery. And you'll notice that the controls on the front of it are really simple, record. That is really uh, important, not to have a bunch of confusing controls right on the front. You do have some other controls here on the side for marking and for pausing. So like you can stop at a certain point, stop and go, stop and go. And then you can also uh, rewind, fast forward. Input level, plus and minus, you have a line in. Mind you, that's uh, it says mic and line in. So I would say to make sure that your mic levels are gonna be solid before you start recording. And you have a power button and hold so you can lock it uh, so that it doesn't uh, respond to controls, I think. I'm not sure on that, so don't quote me. But uh, here you have a trash bin, and that's probably for deleting your files, undoubtedly. All of your bitrate stuff is on the back, which is cool because you don't, you kind of don't want those controls to be handy all the time. You know, when you're trying to just stay recording on the fly, you want your stuff to just stay set the way it is. And I kind of like the fact that those are switches instead of settings inside it. And uh, then you have, uh, I believe that's a speaker built into the bottom of it down here. And uh, I'll get you a good look at the controls here for the line out. Um, that's a line out and headphone out. Here you have a slot for the micro SD card. These are the controls on the back side of it for the input level and um, all that stuff there. So you can have a look at that. There's your microphone. And you have the simple handy dandy record button on the front. I just really love that that is that stays that simple and um, you have a record and peak uh, led that appears right underneath the microphone one of the other cool things that i like about this is that it has four little feet on the bottom of it that will balance it and you can literally just stand it right on a table and let's say that you were doing like a, a talk show or something it would not be out of place for you to just have that thing sitting there and you just talk you know and you could be on camera it's 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 a handsome little device you may i don't know find some kind of sleeve to go around it or whatever but it's a handsome little device it could sit right there and look okay for you anyway this is the unboxing of the zoom h1 handy recorder and um i'll get into a review perhaps at some other time but uh let me talk a little bit since you guys have already seen what's in the box, I uh, got that over with. If you guys are more inf interested in more information, you can also check the links in the description, but I'll also read some things off here for you. So you have data format of 128 kilobits, 256 kilobits, 320 kilobits, uh, wave format, that's for MP3. You have for uh, wave format, 16 bit at 44 kilohertz, 24 bit at 48 kilohertz, and 24 bit at 96 kilohertz. You can uh, use up to a four gigabyte uh, SD card, or at least that's what they what they show in here. Um, and you can get uh, for the highest bit rate for the 24 bit at 96 kilohertz, you can get uh, on a four gig card, two hours of recording time. Typically I'm recording at uh, 24 bit 48 kilohertz and um, on a four gig card, you could get three hours and 51 minutes on it. And I, I typically don't have a recording session that goes that long. So it's kind of cool that at two gigabytes, I would get an hour and 55 minutes. And that usually covers most of my shoots. Um, if I needed more than that, I could always clear it off. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you check out the previous uh, episode, which would be right over here right over there. And then you can subscribe to these videos by clicking this link right up here, the subscribe button. And over here on my left, your right is going to be the next episode. When that becomes available, you'll be able to click on that. It takes you right there. 
Be sure to give this a thumbs up, it helps me out quite a bit. And then if you have any friends that find this useful, uh, be sure to share this with them, share it on your Facebook, and we'll see you next time right here on the Friendly Filmmaking channel. And be sure to check out the friendlyfilmmaking.info page right here on the end of my finger. Have a great day, bye-bye.